Well, folks, we're finishing up our course in a few weeks, so I thought I'd give you some recommendations for picture books. For those of you who are doing some picture books in your free choice and also your free choice category on your book planner. So, here are some great picture books I highly recommend. This one's by, Bo by Mo Williams. Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs. Someone mentioned that they liked this book at the beginning of the course, I remember. Uh, the front the front matter, which is the inside book cover, is kind of funny. My kids think it's hilarious. Um, this whole book has a lot of little jokes and, of course, really great illustrations. I bought a hardcover, um, but I highly recommend it. Mo Willems is actually an author who used to work as a writer for Sesame Street, and so now he's branched off into children's books, and he's gotten a lot of public response. He has a few different series going. Um, one's about a pigeon, one's about an elephant and a pig. Um, he's just got a lot of great talent. This is also by Mo Willems, Knuffle Bunny. And it has a sequel to it. There's another Mo Willems book with Elephant and Piggy. This thank you book has been winning some awards lately. This also won an award. And so many of his books are starting to um, accumulate. He's just, he's kind of a new author in the last few years, but he's getting a lot of success. Other picture books that are quite popular that have stood the test of time are Berenstein Bears. Here's one I like by Nina Cruz. It's Mother Goose Rhymes, but Usually when people think about Mother Goose, they think of um, a white child sitting in a farm or something. And so this is about the same rhymes, but in a city setting with a variety of different ethnicities. And so more children can feel like they connect to the nursery rhymes. Here's Mary to Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? But it's between two city buildings. This is um, a nursery rhyme about fishing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. But it's a little Hispanic boy in his crib. So I just like how it, it shows um, a different side to what could be um, a fairy, uh, not a fairy tale, a nursery rhyme stereotype. <clears throat> Here's some picture books um, by Laura Numeroff that have been quite popular. I'm sure you've seen these around. Um, there's many, many more past this, but they are famous for having circular plots. So they start in one um, section of the book, and then through the plot, it comes back to its beginning. These are popular nowadays. Rosie Revere Engineer, Breaking the Stereotypes of Girls. Here's another one, Iggy Peck Architect. Both of these are by Andrea Beatty. I, I particularly like the illustrations in both of these books by David Roberts. They're really interesting to look at. This one won um, the Beehive Award for the state of Utah this year, How to Babysit a Grandma. Uh, we mentioned Flat Stanley. This could actually be a, a middle reader, but it's got some picture book things in it. And just for fun, let's see what your name would be, your secret identity name in the Captain Underpants books. So get ready to find out your secret identity name. You take the third letter of your first name and you find out what your what word it is. So I am Goober. Then you take the second letter of your last name. So I am Frickin'. Then you use the third letter of your last name. So I am Brains. So my secret identity name is Goober Frickin' Brains. Awesome. What's your name? Post it on the comments. So more middle grade readers. We've got, these are very popular. They're usually called the fairy books, but there's different colors for each cover. Um, this one's the blue one about Katie. My daughter has all these books. Granny Torelli Makes Soup. Um, it's not necessarily a middle grade book, but middle grade um, kids usually read it. 
any book by Sharon Creech is awesome. You should buy a hardcover. Everything on a Waffle won a Newbery Medal Honor. I told you I have a thing for cookbooks. Here's another picture book that's quite popular. Um, anything by Robert Munch is known to be pretty good. Mortimer. I like this book because inside you can, if you're a musical person, you can create music for the song that he sings. And you can also kind of sing this line down the musical scale. And I love any book that you can shout. And so in this book you can get pretty loud when you're doing your read aloud. This is another book that's really fun to do read alouds with. I bought a hardcover. It's called The Web Files. And you can... Um, read it with kind of the tone of a detective story, dum da dum dum, and then read it very. Uh, your your voice inflection would sound very like the old show Dragnet. Two ducks solve a mystery, and of course, it's the dirty rat who did it. This is another great book for a read aloud. I bought a hardcover, and it's larger than you'd think it is. It's kind of a big book. It's by Andrew Clements, another great author. Double Trouble in Walla Walla, and inside, she just can't seem to um, stop rhyming her words, and so she talks to the teacher, who it catch, contagiously catches on to the teacher, and then it catches on to the principal, and pretty soon everyone's just saying these crazy, silly words, and the climax of the book is this page that you, you turn the page as you read it, and the whole time is just all these silly little words, and it's just fun to play, play with language. Um, a lot of different grade levels like that book. Here's a book we bought at the book fair recently that my children liked. It's got some interesting illustrations and not very much text, but the idea of sneaking out of bed to get cookies and uh, pretending you're a ninja the whole time. Uh, I bought this hardcover also, Earth to Clunk. He has a pen pal who lives on a different planet, and they send each other presents like this is Zoid. And they joke about their sister. And then they end up coming to visit, and it's just really fun how they're pen pals, but kind of in a different, in a different way. Here's a series that's popular to read: Skippy John Jones and its sequels. Um, I read this a lot when I lived in Arizona, and they'd always make fun of my terrible gringo accent but usually it'll have some things in here that if you can do a Spanish accent, it's really fun to read. It's a chihuahua who thinks, it's a Siamese cat who thinks he's a chihuahua. And he goes on imaginative adventures to Mexico. Um, Mustache Baby and its different sequels are really popular now. It's a baby, uh, this is its sequel that just got published. He has a friend who has a beard. They're very funny. This is one of my latest favorites. It's a panda who just wants people to say thank you and then he'll give them a donut, but I like the colors used in that book. Here's an example of a biography in a picture book. And this author, Brad Meltzer, has done many like this that are fun to read. Here's another one. So if you want to know what kind of books to use if you're going to be doing different subjects at school, here are some math books that are quite popular. Greg Tang is known for doing math books. If you plan on being a teacher or teaching your kids at home, it's good to have a variety of subjects, not just stories that are fiction or nonfiction, but stories about math, stories about science. There's a series like this about circumference. Here's another one and different brain teasers and um, things to think about for math. Quite popular in the literary community are books about reading. So these, the following would be about libraries or just the act of reading. This is a really fun one. It's a poem, a poetry book. Maybe I'll do this for my poetry presentation. No, I already did one. Anyway, um, one side of the page, one person reads, and the other side of the page, another person reads. And so it's a fun two-part book. This is another great one. Um, there's a few books about Miss Malarkey, and she has a lot of different jokes in there that would be considered malarkey if you were Irish. And that one's about reading. 
and then this is a popular one about libraries and book fairs. So a few picture books to try. Hopefully you jotted down some titles. Hope you enjoy.